the brain doesn't look like much. It looks kind of like three pounds of tofu-like tissue, sort of like rotten cauliflower. And yet, it's been called the enchanted loom, moment to moment, weaving our experiences of living. So the bottom line in terms of how we feel, are we happy, are we sad, are we effective, are we lost in stress? How we are is fundamentally the result of what's happening in the three pounds of tofu between your ears. And what's amazing to appreciate is that you can actually deliberately stimulate parts of your brain that do good things, thereby strengthening them. Because in the famous saying, neurons that fire together wire together. That's critically important in addition to just general purposes, being able to grow the good stuff from the inside out at will. But it's also really important because it's what we have to do to overcome the evolved hardwired negativity bias of the brain. I say it's like Velcro for the bad, but Teflon for the good. In other words, think about it. 10 things happen in a day with, at work or in a relationship. Ten, nine are good, one's bad. What's the one you remember? All right? That's the one that sticks to us. And that's because as our ancestors evolved and the nervous system has been evolving for 600 million years, they needed to get some carrots, you know, food and so forth, but they really needed to avoid those sticks. Because if you fail to get a carrot today, you'll have a chance of one tomorrow. But if you fail to avoid that stick today, that predator, that aggression inside your band, whoosh, no more carrots forever. So we naturally look for bad news, overfocus upon it, overreact to it, fast track that whole business into storage in the brain, and sensitize our brain for the negative over time, and get caught up in vicious cycles with other people. This made tons of sense when people were living and evolving in super harsh conditions, but today, this negativity bias functions as a kind of design flaw in the brain. It's not a feature anymore, it's a bug. And it creates a bottleneck uh, that makes it hard for us to learn from our beneficial experiences and turn them into lasting neural structure. Most positive experiences wash right through your brain like water through a sieve, while negative ones get caught every time. And the problem with that is the primary way to grow resources inside, resilience, determination, compassion, self-compassion, happiness, gratitude, confidence. The primary way to build those into your brain is to have experiences of them that get encoded in a lasting change in neural structure or function. If you don't turn it into something that changes in a lasting way inside yourself, it's momentarily pleasant, but it produces no lasting value. That's why most self-help is wasted on the brain. That's why most efforts that people have to grow, to heal, to change for the better don't have any lasting value. They don't stick to us because we haven't learned how to use what I call positive neuroplasticity to actually turn that passing experience into a lasting inner strength, a lasting psychological resource hardwired into our own nervous system.